my entitled aunt has been fat shaming me my entire life and decided that she was going to give me money for my 18th birthday so that I could get on Weight Watchers and finally get in good health. But after denying her gift as well as dealing with her awful behavior my entire life, I finally put my foot down and decided that enough was enough. But now as a result, my aunt is offended and my parents think that I overreacted. And at this point, I seriously don't know what to do. Here's what happened. Okay, to start things out, I'm a female and I just turned 18 yesterday, but it seemed to have caused a bit of drama in my family, so I'm asking for honest, objective opinions on whether I'm wrong. I'm using a throwaway account because this situation is obviously very humiliating for me. For reference, my weight has always been made fun of in my family. My aunt specifically has always been very unkind and fat shamed me, even when I was younger and struggling with my body image. She used to tell me that my clothes look so small on me, and that even her clothes are probably small for me. She used to remind me to go on diets constantly, and I'm currently 320 pounds if that adds any context to it. Now, I had not seen my aunt in a while, and for the most part, I was really glad to see her for my birthday. I was slightly dreading if she would say anything to me, because I'm aware I have gained a lot of weight since I saw her last. But she made just a few comments, so I thought that was the end of it. I was opening a birthday card that she gave me a few hours later, and it had money in it, but it also had a note that said that this money was for Weight Watchers, and that for once, I can finally make some real change. Now, this was humiliating, and I asked her about it, and she said that she could tell that I was miserable, and that I probably look really good underneath all that fat. And she even said this in front of my parents, and it was very embarrassing. Well, I told her I'm not accepting the gift, and that she's making me feel stupid. But she said that she was just worried for me and my health. But I just don't believe this. She has made fun of my weight for years, even before I was a teenager. But my parents think I was overreacting, and I should have just accepted it right then and there. My aunt has a notoriously big mouth, and my parents think that she's going to tell our whole family, so they're getting kind of worried about what I've done. So am I the jerk for refusing this birthday gift? What should I do? No, of course you're not the jerk. This is insane. First of all, I want to say your parents suck, and they have allowed this to happen for way too long. Like, seriously, they are literally just a bunch of spineless doormats. They've allowed their daughter to be harassed by their aunt for, what, 18 years? Like, that is insane, and there is no good excuse for that. Like, your parents are 100% horrible people for allowing this to happen. And based off the way they're reacting, I bet they were one of the people that was, like, making fun of you when you were a kid. Like, sure, it was your aunt, but you know what? Your parents probably found it funny, and that's why they never said anything. And by the way, they literally allowed this to happen more times than you can count. Because I can guarantee you this is not the only conversation they've had about this. Because if they're saying this in front of you in public, then you better believe they're saying this in private behind your back. But more to the point about your aunt, this is literally not a gift. This is not something you give to someone and be like, well, I'm just really worried about your health. It's like, no, you're not. That's not what's going on at all. In reality, this is literally the curtain call for your aunt basically treating you like garbage throughout your entire childhood. Because guess what? Now that you're 18 years old, you can literally tell her to get lost and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Like she now knows that she can't get away with this because you're now an adult and you can absolutely tell her off if you want to. So this is like the last little feather in her cap of treating you like garbage for years. And that is absolutely not fair for you in the slightest. So no, you are completely in the right to be like, I'm not accepting this. This is humiliating because that's exactly what it is. And you know what? I hope your aunt goes around saying something to the rest of the family because seriously, this is a great opportunity to expose your aunt for the horrible person that she is. And even your parents for letting this happen for what, 18 years? Like, come on. No one in their right mind should be on your aunt's side. And if they are, then guess what? You now know what they actually are like and you know you don't want anything to do with them. At least that's how I feel. Like if I found out my family members were like, wait a second, why are you being so rude? You are fat. You need this Weight Watchers. Like I would lose my mind and be like, okay, all of you are gone. I'm not dealing with any of you because your weight and your health and all that stuff, that is your business. And you don't need anybody trying to like look out for you or fat shaming you, especially from a scumbag bully like your aunt, because that's all this is. Like she is literally a grade A bully. You've been an easy target with your parents' permission. And now that you're 18, this is like the last little dig she can make at you before you move on with your life. So no, you're definitely not the jerk because if I was in your shoes, I would have done the exact same thing. If you like Am I the Jerk, you're probably going to love Am I the Genius. Check it out. Link down below in the description. Also, go to amithejerk.com slash submit if you would like to submit your own stories. Am I the Jerk for refusing to allow my brother to drive with us to the family vacation as he is known for being very obnoxious and very hard to deal with because right now my mom is very upset and at this point I seriously don't know what to do. Here's what happened. So for a bit of context, my partner and I have autism and my 15-year-old brother has severe 
severe ADHD. My brother is immature, careless, and deep in puberty. He's known for being a handful, he's constantly late, and destructive with his belongings and others. For instance, he's broken multiple phones and laptops that my mom has bought him. This Friday, we're planning a family trip across the country, and my partner and I were looking forward to a peaceful road trip alone, having planned our drive and stops in advance. However, today my mom found out that my partner would be driving and decided to have my brother ride with us, saying, well, since you're driving anyways, he can come with you. She and her boyfriend are driving separately in a two-seater van due to the amount of stuff they need to bring. Now, we really don't want to babysit an unruly 15-year-old for four hours, especially since we weren't asked nicely and just told that he would be with us. Normally, my mom and her boyfriend drive in two separate cars, so we assumed that would happen again. But this year, though, with my partner joining us, they saw an opportunity to shift responsibility. While we understand their reasoning and offer to take him if absolutely necessary, we were not happy about the situation. And when I talked to my mom, she didn't have convincing arguments. For starters, she tried to say that driving separately is expensive, but we offered to cover the extra gas since we were causing the inconvenience in her eyes, but she declined. Also, he can't drive with our sister because they'll arrive later. However, we're not planning to arrive on time either as we're taking a more relaxed trip. My partner, who is an anxious driver, prefers not to drive in a convoy and likes to rely on her sat-nav, especially due to her autism. But in the end, our conclusion is that we could take him if necessary, but we will be doing it reluctantly. We have a lot to bring and we aren't sure everything will fit. Plus, if he's coming with us, he will need to follow our schedule, meaning that we likely won't arrive on time. But now, my mom is upset and said that she'll ask my sister after all, despite never asking us first. We feel we offered a reasonable compromise, but she's implying that everyone has to make sacrifices, while essentially making my brother our responsibility. So are we the jerks in this situation? What should we do? No, you're not the jerks. Your mom literally went to you and tried to muscle your brother into your car, all because she doesn't want to deal with him. Like, this really is reading as if she's trying to kick the can down the road, and that's not fair for you in the slightest. And the fact that she tried to force you to take your brother with you, in my opinion, is just further evidence that she was trying to make this happen no matter what. Even going as far as trying to guilt trip you by being like, oh, I guess we'll ask your sister anyways. And honestly, with what you described, I don't think you should compromise with these people at all. Like, they literally tried to force this brother into your car, who, by the way, is very careless and very immature. Like, who knows how obnoxious he's going to be during this entire trip? And that's going to be your problem the entire time. So no, you're not the jerk for refusing to take your brother, because he really does sound like an absolute handful. Am I the jerk for telling my coworker that she still has to pay me for the unused tickets that she never used that I gave to her? Because right now, she's angry with me for even requesting it in the first place. And at this point, I seriously don't know what to do. Here's what happened. So I've worked with my coworker for about a year now. She is nice and I enjoy working with her. And we've talked about hanging out outside of work a few times, but our schedules never match since I have kids and she has a boyfriend out of town that she visits frequently. A few months ago, she forgot her lunch, so I shared mine with her. Since then, she's been slowly starting to ask for more things and taking more liberties with my stuff. For example, I usually have crackers or granola bars in my bag in case I forget my lunch, and I also have hard candies since we can't chew gum at work. At first, she would ask for the candies, then she just started going straight in the bag to get them, and that was the same with the crackers and the bars. If I have something that she doesn't like, she'll go in there, say something like, ew, never mind, all before closing my bag back up. Now, I did address this behavior with her, because one day, I actually did forget my lunch. When I got to the break room, I saw her eating the crackers that I had in my bag, and I was a little annoyed that she went in my bag when I wasn't there, but I just assumed that she didn't have lunch until I saw her take her food out of the fridge and put it in the microwave. I then reminded her why I keep the snacks in my bag and said that I didn't have anything to eat now that she's eaten this and her food. She eventually apologized but did not share her food with me since it was made special by her boyfriend. Now, more to the issue, I bought tickets to the circus for my kids and siblings, and some of my siblings couldn't make it, so I had extra tickets. So, I told her about them, that it was happening that night, and I told her the price, and I asked if she wanted to buy them. Well, she agreed, and I texted them to her. When she got them, she said, oh, is it okay if I pay you Saturday? And I just said, sure, because I had no reason not to. Saturday comes along, and she's not at work, and no money came through on Cash App. On Tuesday, when I saw her, I asked for the money, and she said to me, oh, I never ended up going. My friend didn't want to go in the end. I said to her, okay, but she replied by saying, well, I never used them. We didn't go because you never told me it was that night. I thought we had two weeks to use them. But I said to 
her, I told you before I sent them to you that it was that night and to make sure you can go before I send them. She said, well, I don't know what you want since I didn't use them. I said to her, well, I want money for the tickets. When you knew you weren't going to use them, you should have texted me back because I could have given them to somebody else. Well, in response, all she said was my bad and then she walked away. Later that week, she asked if she could take me to a baseball game to make up for the tickets that she didn't pay for and she said that she'll pay for the tickets so that she won't owe me anymore. Well, the baseball tickets are less expensive than the ones I got and I don't want to go to a baseball game anyways. So I just told her that I need the money and now she's mad at me. So am I the jerk for asking for my money? What should I do? No, you are definitely not the jerk because she basically took those tickets and did nothing with it when she said, okay, I'm going to go to this thing tonight. But then she tried to backtrack and be like, well, we didn't use it and you didn't tell me what day it was, even though that's completely false and she absolutely knew what was going on. Like this is definitely one of those people who just uses everybody in their friend group and they never reciprocate in the slightest. Like all she has to do is pay for the tickets and all of this is done. But instead she's giving you the runaround for literally no reason. And in my opinion, yes, she's absolutely on the hook for those tickets. So no, you are definitely not the jerk because if I was in your shoes, I would do the exact same thing. A very distant relative walked into our house without us knowing about it and acted as if he was inspecting our house. And honestly, after it all went down, I'm still amazed by this guy's audacity and I really hope he never comes back ever again. Here's what happened. Okay, so I live in a house with my boyfriend and my dad and yesterday my boyfriend's niece wanted to hang out with me after school so he dropped her off to hang out with me and told me either him or his mom will pick her up. Now I had to leave work at about 6 o'clock p.m. and my boyfriend didn't get off work until about 8 o'clock p.m. My dad got home at around 7 o'clock p.m. and was having dinner when my boyfriend's sister came to pick the girl up with her husband. Well, without any kind of notice, an uncle was there with them as well. The sister and her husband were both standing in the living room calling for their daughter. However, the uncle, without asking for consent, walked right through our house. Now, it wouldn't be a problem if he stopped at the living room or even like the kitchen or the backyard. However, the uncle legitimately just went through the house like he was doing a house inspection and even went straight to my dad's bedroom, my bedroom, and my personal bathroom and closet, opening all the room doors and walked through our house inside and out and made comments about the house. Now, my dad didn't stop him because he heard it was my boyfriend's uncle and just didn't want to be rude. But the next day, my dad told me and my boyfriend about it and my boyfriend was like, what? I'm not even close to that uncle. He's a far relative. As for me, he is literally just a stranger because I've never met him and I just don't know him. I just felt annoyed and uncomfortable knowing a random old man went through my room and looked through my stuff without asking me or even knowing about it. I'm just so mad that I swear if I ever meet that old man again in the future, I don't know if I could be respectful to him like I usually do with older people. I mean, how on earth can someone be this rude and obnoxious? I'm honestly still mad thinking about it. Now, fast forward, and my boyfriend actually texted his sister to confront the uncle about it, and he said he was just looking for a restroom and was just checking out the house because he heard we bought it for a cheap price. But again, he could have just asked for a restroom instead of walking around and opening doors like that. And we as the homeowners were not home to let him have the permission to walk around checking it like that. Furthermore, he lives out of state and only visited for a couple of days. We do not know him like that, and he said he just wanted to see his nephew's new house. I'm honestly speechless because we can't really do anything else since it's already done and all I can do is just get a camera and a smart door lock because what this guy did is absolutely insane. Yeah, I think I would lose my mind if someone walked into my house and just started looking through all of my rooms. Seriously, your dad should have stopped him and been like, wait a second, why are you going through the house? Or at least asked him like, hey, what are you doing? This is weird. Because under no circumstance should somebody that you've never met before be doing that, especially if it's not your home. Like, that is really weird. So I think the only silver lining here is that your boyfriend was like, hey, what is your problem? Why did you do that? Because this behavior is like super creepy. Who knows if he put a camera in your house or something like that or like stole something that you don't know about. And the fact that the other people there were just kind of like letting this happen is also really weird. Why would you not say something to the uncle and be like, hey, what are you doing? Come back. You can't go through their house. So yeah, I think getting a camera of some kind or some kind of like smart lock really would be a good idea because what this guy did, in my opinion, is super creepy. An entitled Karen tries to cut in line at the emergency room and pretends that she's partially blind just to try and get what she wants. But despite her stupid antics that she's displaying, the receptionist at this front desk doesn't take any of her garbage and ends up putting this Karen in her place in a way that I honestly will never forget. Here's what happened. So a couple of weeks ago, I was at the emergency room waiting to be seen when an old entitled Karen walks in, goes to the counter, and says that she needs to be seen immediately. The receptionist who maintained her calm the entire 
entire time, said this Karen would have to fill out the intake forms and wait in the lobby until it's her turn. And there were about four or five of us already there ahead of her. But she insisted that she needs to be seen right away because it's an emergency. She would not elaborate on the issue, but she looked perfectly fine, or at least well enough that she could wait and argue with the staff. The receptionist does the usual, I understand ma'am, but other people were here first routine, and tells her again that she needs to fill out the forms. Now at this point, this Karen says that she can't see, that her vision is too blurry, so the receptionist will have to fill out the forms for her, like she's some kind of secretary for this Karen. Well, she's told this isn't allowed, and that she will need to sit down and fill them out herself. Now at this point, this Karen does the usual thing, and starts raising her voice so that everyone can hear how she's being disrespected, and how the service here is terrible, and all the other usual lines you would expect. She refuses to leave the counter as she fills out the forms, and begins to cry the fakest of fake cries I've ever heard in my life. And she was doing this all while whimpering, nobody wants to help me. And she was saying this on repeat over and over again. She proceeds to drop all her cards and items from her purse on the ground on purpose, and then takes her time to pick them up just to hold everybody up around her. Now, just as a reminder, this is the emergency room. But eventually, she takes her sweet time to fill out the form, and hands it in with absolute disgust, saying again how no one wants to help out an old lady these days. She then proceeds to sit right next to me, pull out her phone, and read off of it while she waits. So clearly, this Karen was absolutely lying about being blind. I will never understand why people act like this. Like, quite legitimately, it is so weird to me. Like, I can understand if you're having an actual emergency where, like, you're bleeding or you have a very obvious broken bone or, like, somebody is actually passing away right then and there. But seriously, this is not one of those cases. This Karen wanted to get ahead of everybody else and didn't care about anyone else in line. And I mean, come on, you have to know that you're going to be waiting in line if you go to the emergency room. Like, that's pretty common knowledge, right? At least in America, where I'm from, like, when you go to the emergency room, you're going to be there for a while. Like, you are dedicating at least eight hours in that hospital, pretty much no matter what. So for this Karen to be so indignant and then be like, oh, well, I can't see. You're going to have to fill it out for me. It's just so unbelievably entitled. And it's like, no, you can read. You absolutely can. You probably drove over here. You're just lying and you want to be entitled. So good for the receptionist for having just ice in her veins and being like, no, you're going to have to fill it out yourself. Because if that were me, that Karen literally would have driven me up a wall. Because that is not something that I personally handle very well in the slightest. My adult sister refuses to do any chores in the house, leaving me and my mom to clean up after her constantly. But now that I've decided to take a stand and refuse to do anything for her, I'm now receiving so much backlash that I'm honestly not sure what to do. Here's what happened. I'm 25 years old and I have a sister that's the same age who stubbornly refuses to do any real chores around the house. It's not just that she doesn't help, but she also makes significant messes and then casually expects someone else to clean up after her. Or somehow she finds someone else to blame. I thought that was nuts, so I never cleaned up for her, but my mom started getting mad at me for not doing so. And my dad also says I should just do it and I'm the one causing the problem. My mom has been very controlling to the point that I think she appointed herself in charge of chores around the house because she thinks we can't do it to her standards. But because of this, neither me or my sister learned to clean very well. But the difference is is that I'm an adult and I felt guilty and she eventually let me clean some things. The difference is is that my sister comfortably expects my mom to clean up after her and my mom started getting mad that I don't do what she does when it comes to cleaning up for my sister. I refuse to cave and do it for her until my dad gets on my case. My sister is very entitled and is constantly forgetting and being late and not doing chores all the way and other issues with basic housework. She also has broken things around the house, left messes on the counter for others to clean up and she acts baffled when someone tries to tell her to clean up after herself. My mom sometimes gets to telling her that she should clean but eventually she caves and gives up and the chores fall down to me and I think that this is a problem because I shouldn't have to clean up after her but also when she doesn't do something correctly or leaves a mess when it's my turn it's time to clean twice as hard because she messed everything up I genuinely don't know why she does this maybe she doesn't feel guilty about not helping like I do and I remember my mom making empty threats when we were kids so I can imagine her becoming bold because there were no consequences and I don't think we were disciplined but I feel like as adults we should understand that we should help out she recently got a job but doesn't even contribute to rent and she uses that as an excuse for why she can't help my dad wants no part in the discussion despite him being the only one that I think can authoritatively tell her what to do since she doesn't respect any of us obviously I'd like to eventually move out but right now I just can't do it I feel like it's unfair that I get saddled with my sister's messes and I'm just further disrespected by everyone involved I tried googling things about 
discipline, but the links were just all about children, and mostly by boomers upset that they can't hit their kids or whatever nowadays. I'm just tired of feeling like a maid to my own family members. It's making me dislike her more and more, and I've minimalized speaking to her because of this, but I don't even think that she cares about that. I feel like I'm Cinderella to a biological sister. What should I do? Okay, for starters, this situation sucks, and I really feel for you. Like, seriously, you're just trying to get by, and your sister is making your life a living nightmare. The parents don't discipline her, and they're like, oh my god, just do the chores for her. You're making things a problem by doing nothing. And they're shifting the blame to you for not cleaning up after your sister, when in reality, the problem is with your sister and not you. It seems like they're only going to you because you're like the easy way out, because you're at least agreeable to some extent, and you're acting like an adult. But your sister, on the other hand, is acting like a teenager, and this is not fair for you in the slightest. So if I was in your shoes, I would start doubling my work hours just to try and find a new place to live. I would do everything possible to make sure I make enough money so that I can get out of that house and never look back because what you're describing sounds like a nightmare and I would not want to deal with that in the slightest. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. To finish listening to all the stories, check out the playlist at the top of the description. And if you want some chill music to put on in the background, check out easymode.com. If you like Am I the Jerk, subscribe to Am I the Genius. Everything will be linked down below in the description.